Hello and welcome back to our playthrough of 3D Dot Game Heroes. Now we're taking on the Sand Golem Boss. Desert Golem Boss. Now if you've missed our last episode, we're in the final tower of this game. Each floor in this tower is themed after one of the six temples we've already beaten. And that's complete with its own boss fight, so we're refighting all of the bosses from the game. So this is obviously the boss from the third temple, the desert temple, being the golem. So we need to defeat him, and then we'll be moving on to the aqua temple floor. Which means we're going to have another octopus fight in today's video. But one boss at a time, we need to take out this guy first. Not sure how many videos it's going to take us to get through this tower. So once we defeat this guy, we have the Aqua Temple. We still have the Flame Temple. We have the Sky Temple. And then I'm sure there's going to be a final boss fight of the game. So we still got a little bit to go here. It's getting exciting. We're coming to the end of this game for sure now. This guy's only got one arm left. Okay, so no arms left. We just have to avoid him and take him out. He's trying to jump on us and hit us with his lasers. I always forget about that shockwave. Gets me every time. He's got to be low on health now. Come on. Nice, we got him. Alright, so that's going to be the first boss fight of the video. It won't be the last one in today's video, so I hope you'll stick with us. That even managed to power us back up a little bit there. They give you nice little health refills at the end of each floor kind of top you up. I have to be careful with those enemies because if you get hit by them, they take like five or six hearts off. Mind you, that was before we uh, collected the ring to lower damage, so maybe it'll do a little bit less if we get hit by them now. There we go, now it should be easy to dodge those guys. And it looks like we have time switches now. It's gonna be difficult, so we gotta use the, uh, we gotta cross the water and hit some on the other side too. Just plotting out how I wanna do this which side of the water I want to be on, which switch I want to hit first. I got hung up on the pole there for a second. Alright, that got us our first key of this floor. They're kind of like little mini dungeons. They're not quite as big as the full-size dungeon, but same enemy, same boss, same theme. Just making us go through all of them here at the end of the game. I keep doing that. Try and push the block to keep me safe and I end up running into the spikes anyway. Now I hope everyone's been enjoying watching this playthrough. I'm certainly having a lot of fun playing this game. Just takes me back to such a time when games were just a little more simple. You know, things weren't all about graphics. A lot of it had to do more with gameplay. I don't know, it just re 
It's kind of nostalgic, even though this game isn't that old. It just takes me back to a time. Now, one thing I do like about this section is it's one of the few games that has a water temple that doesn't involve going in the water. It makes the water temple a lot more bearable. Less annoying water level than usual, because there's water in the background, but we don't really got to go in it. We're just kind of flying above it and fighting some water-themed enemies. Alright, well, with this being mini versions of each temple, there really isn't a dungeon item in each floor. We're really just looking to get the boss key and make it to the boss door. That's kind of it. So we're collecting smaller keys to make our way there, and hopefully we'll acquire the boss key along the way. Now I should be able to get through this pretty easily if we don't take damage. As soon as we lose the power on our sword, it becomes so much harder. Yeah, see, like, these guys are a tough fight with a small sword, but with the full power sword, it's pretty easy to take them out. We're gonna have to manage our magic carefully, too. We always have reflect when we need it, but also, if we get in a sticky situation, we can just freeze all the enemies in a room. I'm sure there's going to be some rooms that we just don't want to deal with coming up in this tower somewhere. Can't all be this easy after all. Oh, this one's nasty. Two of these knights with nothing to, uh, kind of avoid them around. Yeah, I'll spend three magic to not have to deal with that fight. If we take damage, it's gonna make us lose even more health in the long run. It's kind of weird that those enemies respawn, too. Here we go, had to be careful to dodge those guys. There's so much stuff firing at us in here. I didn't even see that guy there. Okay, let's get out of this room. Use a candle for sure. I'm not messing around in here. Okay, we found the boss door. We just need a boss key to enter it. Yeah, we haven't found that yet. Now, if you get pulled in by those guys, they drop you to, like, the start of the dungeon. They kind of act like the wall masters in like a Zelda game. I'm gonna avoid getting sucked in by one of them. All right, well, we're back to full health and full magic, which is good. We're just collecting keys all over the place in this temple. Only problem is none of them are the key that we're looking for. Just kind of checking out where we haven't haven't been so far.
Oh, not this room again. So many things shooting at us. There's six of those turrets. Not to mention that there was like four of those mages in there as well. I think we want to be in the middle to shoot at this thing. Alright, we got the boss key. We can take on the final boss of this floor. It's great. It's going to be our second boss fight of this video. Be nice to get through the boss and maybe even get to the boss of the next floor of this temple on today's video. It'd be kind of nice if this temple didn't take us like six videos to get through. So I'm kind of pushing to get like kind of two floors done in each video. Yeah, with there being like six or seven floors and then I'm sure a final boss fight. Kind of a massive tower that we've invaded here. And I think they've kind of given us a preview to what the fight against the Dark Bishop will be like. He kind of showed himself earlier, but we couldn't damage him without the final power that we hadn't acquired yet. Now that we have that, we should be able to actually do damage to him when we meet him again. Not sure if that'll be the final battle or not, but certainly something we're going to have to face coming up here. Alright, here we go. The boss of the water, well, Aqua Temple. Calling it that doesn't really disguise the fact that it's clearly a water temple. It's like next game that we play is going to be called like the H2O temple. Just to try and disguise it. It's a pretty cool boss fight, but it can be as soon as you lose your giant sword, it's instantly hard to uh, avoid taking damage just because you have to kind of get into uh, areas where they can hit you to get up close enough but the big sword staying back here out of range well as I say that we take damage now we're going to have to move up and that's going to make it very difficult to avoid taking more damage Alright, where's he going now? Same place. Yeah, we're taking all kinds of damage now that, uh... Now that we lost our big sword. Okay, I guess we're going to have to use a potion here. But that'll at least get us our big sword back.
Ah, oh, really hoping that wasn't going to happen. Now we're back to having to get close to him again. Oh, well, there we go. Boss fight over. Now we're moving up to the fire temple. Well, flame temple floor. And at least it gave us uh, enough to get back to full health. So just throwing down a save before anything happens. I've heard a lot of people say this game is prone to freezing. So I don't want to like get through a whole floor of the temple, defeat a boss, and then have the game freeze on me. Yeah, I looked into kind of like the development of this game a little bit because I've heard things about it freezing. It really seemed like they didn't have faith in this game. Like they didn't think it would sell. They didn't port it to anything. It's kind of always been stuck on the PS3. Um, also kind of seems like they really weren't expecting it to do as well as it did. So they didn't make many copies of it. They just kind of like threw this game out there. And if it was broken, it seemed like they didn't really care that much. But people actually seem to uh, have enjoyed this game. So I think it did better than they were expecting. But they've still never really remastered, re-released it, or even ported it off of the PS3. Like you, I don't even think there's a version for the PS4 or PS5. These arrow shooting things. I think over the course of the game, they've done more damage to me than like any enemy in the game has. Get hit by these arrows when I'm not expecting it all the time. Just realizing we don't have the key to go through there. These floors have kind of been getting bigger and bigger, so hopefully this one isn't too bad. Seems like it's going to be a bit of a puzzle with these raising and lowering of blocks. These guys are very dangerous if they hit you. They do even more damage than the red version, and the red version already did like five or six hearts. Like, I think even at full health, if I got hit by one of these blue guys, I'd probably only have one or two hearts left. So I'm really going to avoid getting hit by those guys. Okay, so now those blue blocks should be down. Okay, it seemed like that was a better option than taking the risk of giving up all of our health. Instead, we're going to leave this room full on health. Okay, we're kind of starting to run into every annoying or dangerous enemy. So far, the only enemy that's really been kind of unique to this dungeon uh, has been those kind of gravitational enemies that will pull you in and bring you back to the start of the temple. Now, a tough thing about this area is going to be even once we do find the boss key, we're going to have to make sure the right bricks are lowered to make it through to the boss. Kind of like a puzzle solving mechanic in this temple. It's the same kind of thing in the flame temple when we are there, it's just much bigger and more complicated with multiple floors. Oh, 
Uh, the minute I cast the spell, I got hit with an arrow. Yeah, I guess you can't cast a spell if you're in range of getting hit by something. It's too dangerous. Trying to figure out how to lower this without this guy doing damage to us. Okay, seems like he can't come out of there. But I really don't want to go in there after him, because that doesn't leave us much space to fight him. Oh, we had no choice. We had to come in here to get him. Seems like we're going to have to lower these red bricks to get through. Alright, so where was the last switch that we saw? Oh, the previous room. That's not too bad. thinking I'll just freeze these guys to avoid getting hurt. Trying to deal with them and these like corner enemies at the same time just seems annoying. These bricks are preventing us from getting to the bottom of the room. But if we hit that switch, then I don't think we can get back down there then. Just trying to figure out how to go about this. Oh, there's a room to the bottom left, it looks like. Oh yeah, it looks like a bombable wall. Since we had to freeze the flame anyway, I figured we'd also just take out the knight at the same time using the ice. Still gonna need to use Reflect to get rid of these mages, though, if the room comes back. We might be able to sneak out of here before that happens, so.
Okay, so we can get to the bottom of this room now. But we still can't get to that chest. That's interesting. There's like a part of the room we haven't been able to get to. Figure maybe if we take out these mages. Oh, we'll try switching the room back. No, we still can't get to that chest. It just blocks us towards the other door. Alright, I guess we're going down through this bottom door to see what that gets us. Was about to get pulled in by those guys, so I had to freeze the room. Also, would really like to not get hit by any of these enemies that take away so many hearts. Not when we're this close to the boss fight. It's getting exciting now. We're getting really close to the end of this game. The final showdown. He's stuck on the door. It's tough because you try and get behind him, but then the other guy comes up on you. These guys really get stuck on everything, though. Trying to get them separated so I can fight them one at a time. There we go, that'll make things easier. Alright, well we made it to the boss room, so that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you'll come back and see what happens next in the Dark Tower. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.